Hey guys, Mr. Mitchell here. Welcome to the third in a series of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the Advanced Higher Physics exam. In this video, we cover the definitions for the astrophysics topic, and I'd recommend that you make your own flashcards from these definitions. You can do this by writing down the word or term on one side and the definition or the meaning on the other side. So let's get started. Firstly, we have gravitational field strength, and this is simply the gravitational force per unit mass, or in other words, the weight per unit mass, and this can be seen from the simple weight equation W equals mg. Next, we have the term gravitational potential of a point in space, and this is the work done in moving unit mass from infinity to that point. So remember, work done is an energy, and unit mass is just one kilogram. So it's the energy to move one kilogram of mass from infinity to that point in space that you're talking about. Next, we have escape velocity. And this is the minimum velocity required by a mass to just escape from a planet's gravitational field and reach infinity with zero velocity or zero kinetic energy. And remember there is an equation for escape velocity on the relationship sheet in the exam, and you could also be expected to derive this equation for escape velocity. Moving on to talk about relativity, we have inertial frame of reference. And this is a frame of reference in which an observer is not accelerating with respect to another. That is, an observer will move at a constant speed with respect to another. And this is what is used in special relativity, which was seen in the higher physics course. Next, we have a non-inertial frame of reference, and this is quite simply the opposite of inertial frames of reference. And this is a frame of reference in which an observer is accelerating with respect to another. That is, an observer will not move at a constant speed with respect to another, and non-inertial frames of reference are used to explain general relativity. Remember the term frame of reference can also be shortened to reference frame. Moving on, we have the equivalence principle, which is a really important part of general relativity. And this says that gravity pulling in one direction is equivalent to acceleration in the other. Or in other words, there is no way to distinguish between the effects on an observer of a uniform gravitational field and of a constant acceleration. Next, we have space-time, which is a unified representation of three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. So remember, the three dimensions of space are in the x, y, and z direction, and there's one dimension of time, t. And all of these things together form space-time. Next, we have gravitational lensing, which is the bending of light from a distant source due to a large mass causing a curvature in space-time. Lastly, we have Schwarzschild radius, which is the distance from the centre of a black hole, i.e. the singularity, to its event horizon. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.